a steering wheel. Hi. Oh, it's a muddy day at the park, huh? Don't jump from there. Be careful. Yeah, that's probably the best way to go. There you go. There. Whoa. That's okay. It's a muddy day at the park. We're going to have a lot of laundry to do after this. Yeah. That's all right. It's not really warm enough to be doing this right now. But when your little one is desperate to go outside, you just layer up lots of pants and sweaters and jackets and gloves and you deal with it. Can you do that by yourself or do you need me? Yeah. Here, I'll help you. You got it. Come on. Come on. You got it. Yeah. Oh, that one's much better. That's lower to the ground. Okay. So, I'm having my snack. I brought my applesauce. She had her snack on the way here. We're having like an epic nap time struggle because she just doesn't want to take her naps anymore. So, I'm just trying to figure out different ways to wear her out and get her to sleep. So, I'm sorry if I've been a little quiet here lately, but I don't know how you moms get any work done if your little ones don't ever take naps. Um, do you want the rest of your snack? Or are you good? You want to eat at the picnic table? Okay, I'm going to go get her snack and she's going to eat at the picnic table. Don't go down that way. That's a big drop off. Come over here and do the blue slide. Don't go down that way, Olivia. Careful. Come on. Come to me. Come back towards me. Come down this step. And go down the blue slide. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Your shoe is coming off. You push it. You push it. Okay, all better, right? There you go. Whee! So I'm like officially frozen. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm officially frozen right now. I'm hiding in my sweater because I'm so cold and I thought I'd be warm enough because I checked the temperature before we came out. But of course she's wearing more than I am because she's two. So I put like tons of clothes on her and I thought I was okay, but I'm really not. It's freezing out here. So this is going to be a short visit to the park, but you got to get your kiddos out of the house. You know, you can't let them go stir crazy. Anyways, we'll check back with you guys later in a little bit. So, just getting some lunch ready real quick. Um, I'm just warming up some of the turkey slices in the pan first. And then I've got some cheese cut up and some organic whole wheat bread. Um, I'm gonna make Olivia a small version of the sandwich and then I'll make myself a whole one. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of mayonnaise on it that we got with a little lime juice in it, which is really subtle and really, really good. So if you guys ever see that at your Save-A-Lot or your grocery store, you should try it. So this is actually pretty much ready. I think I turned it once. I'm just going to turn it one more time. I don't know why I like warm sandwiches, but I just, I like warm sandwiches and I like to have my turkey slices or ham slices cooked a little bit more first because um, I just think I like the texture of it better. And so I'm going to get some coconut oil in this pan and start warming that up. And then we'll put these together and toast them up real quick. 
Okay, so just a little bit of coconut oil in there. This is the one that I got this time because it's um, not refined or anything. So if I could get this to focus, I don't think it has a temperature on it, but refined coconut oil will um, smoke at a higher temperature. If you get the virgin coconut oil like we get, you do have to be a little careful how hot you get it. You'll burn off a lot more of the nutrients a lot quicker, but we're just melting today, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. And then this has got a nice little sizzle to it, so I'm gonna take a couple pieces here for our sandwiches and do a little one for Miss Ollie, because she's so little, like that. And then I want to get my cheese on here while it's still, I'm going to give her, give her the little cheese, the thinner slice, and break it up a little bit. Don't need too much cheese for a little person. Oh, the kitties think they want a treat. They, the kitties love turkey and ham slices. They're so funny. So just gonna put some cheese on there and then I have yet to put the dishes away guys and I need to wipe off my stove. So I'm sorry my kitchen's messy but we live here. We eat here every day. We cook here every day and I do the dishes every night. <laughs> So, sometimes things aren't super duper fancy, but that's okay. All right, and then I'm going to start these, I'm putting the cheese side down first to get that cheese nice and melty and kind of glue the sandwiches together almost and then I'll flip them after they toast up a little bit here. So we're all toasted up. I'm just going to let this cool off a little bit so it's not too hot for her but I sliced her up little pieces of her sandwich so she can just grab them and then mine's just cut regular but um, we'll probably have some fruit or veggies with this to just a quick little warm lunch after a freezing cold morning in the park. <laughs> okay, so apparently I'm not very good at um, updating with my vlogs, but um, I need to pull into this parking spot more. I, I'm back and it's now Friday. Yesterday was Thursday, which is when we went to the park, but I was exhausted when we got home after the park and we ate lunch and I dozed off on the couch while Olivia had quiet time in her crib and um, then we just like went grocery shopping and made dinner and did boring stuff so I didn't I didn't film any of that because that's not really that fun um, but I am stopping right now to get some coffee we got some coffees here um, I'm gonna go over to my friend's house and have coffee with her and I don't know if I'm gonna film any of that because her son is teething right now and he's like cranky so we're just gonna go like give her hugs and make her feel better while she has a teething baby and um, have some fun with that and then if we do any other adventures today we'll take you guys along. I got an order in my antique shop for um, a basket so I have to take that to the post office and like do fun stuff like that so thanks for sticking with us guys and um, we'll see where this day takes us okay hi um oh I wonder how loud I can talk Okay, so we have been home for a little while. Um, I mentioned yesterday that we've been really struggling with nap time lately. 
Um, it started with climbing out of the crib one day, and so I thought we needed a toddler bed, and then she just wasn't taking naps at all because she wasn't staying in bed, and so we switched back to a crib, and it took several more days after that to finally get little bit to take a nap so I'm sorry about this lighting in here you guys I'm trying to keep you out of the brightness from the window I even closed the curtain and it's still just really coming in anyway so she's finally resting and I got I actually got some things done I um, ate my lunch which is awesome and I printed out my shipping stuff for sending out my basket. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I got everything ready to send into our um, uh, tax guy. I, what do you call him? An accountant? I don't know. Anyway, um, I got all that stuff set up for that, and I'm going to edit a blog post. I've got my computer here. I'm writing a blog post. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because it's a surprise. Um, but I'm editing a couple blog posts and just finishing. I got coffee to take to my friend but I didn't finish it. So I'm just finishing it and it's still nice and frothy and I added some cinnamon on top. Um, if you guys want to know, lately my favorite coffee drink, I had to cut way back on my caffeine because I just like wasn't handling it very well, so I switched over to half-calf um, at home because full caffeine was like killing my anxiety. So when I go out to get coffee now, I just get decaf because I don't want to do too much more caffeine. So this is a grande decaf cappuccino made with almond milk and two pumps of vanilla and then I add a dash of cinnamon on top and it is amazing. If you guys are looking for a new coffee drink or you want to try something fun, this is so good. I just love it. Um, so I'm going to have this and finish editing my blog post and see how far that goes and I think what I'm going to start doing as far as nap time is um, waking her up myself instead of letting her wake herself up. I think that maybe when she naps she's getting too much sleep and then that makes bedtime a struggle and I think I need to help her balance out how much sleep she's getting like in increments, you know. Um, I don't know if you guys have kids let me know what you think about that and yeah I think that's about what our day is going to be today and if I get into my studio to clean anything up I'll take you guys in there but I might just make that a whole video I haven't really decided but just wanted to check in and let you guys know how the day is going what we're up to and all that kind of good stuff. I just wanted to show you guys really quick that I did end up getting a couple things done in here. These, I used to have canvas bins that these were in, like from the dollar store, and they just, they would like collapse over time, and they don't hold up. Here, I'll show you these like those right there they just start to collapse so I got new Tupperwares and that's basically what I'm doing to organize everything in here um, and I'm just finishing transferring some of the things and I'll show you the sizes I got I got this size for smaller items and this size so that one's for larger items, and that's what this one is here. And they will probably sit in my cupboard this way. I just measured, you know, my cupboard is 10 inches deep, 
So that was what I started with as my measurement, and these are eight inches wide this way. So I'll have a little bit of room, but I think it's going to work really well. It's getting a little late, so I don't know if we'll make it to the post office today. I think we might have to do that tomorrow, but I just wanted to show you guys like how that's looking. I just think it's going to be really nice. It'll be easier for me to just pull these off the shelf whenever I need something. It'll be nice because I can see through this for my paint and um, I'll be able to just have neatness. I like things to be neat so that I know where everything is, you know? So that's that. And then down here I have all these silk flowers that my friend gave me. Um, she Unfortunately, she lost her grandma last year and her grandma had all of these craft supplies that they weren't sure what to do with. And she was gracious enough to send me a message and let me know I could come get some. So what I think I'm going to do is with some of the plastic bins, I'm going to nip some of the flowers off of their stems because I very rarely use stems when I'm doing a silk flower project. So I think what I might do is just take the flower off and just store that. I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think about that. If you're a crafter, let me know what kind of storage you like for your flowers. And then I've just got this that I'm getting ready to take like I said, I may not get to the post office today. That might be something that happens tomorrow, but I'm packing this little basket. I've got her packing slip in there for her already. And I'm gonna wrap it up nice with newspaper. And then I always keep this stuff, raffia or like paper packing. I always like to keep this stuff around for packing things and shipping because it just gives that little bit of extra cushion and it just gives that little extra finish. And then when it arrives to the customer, they feel like you took the extra time to really package their item carefully. If they feel like they got better customer service because it wasn't just thrown into a box, it had all this extra cushion around it. So I think, um, that was my hair. I feel a little crazy today. Sorry, I have a mint in my cheeks right now, so if I look like a chipmunk, that's why. But um, I can hear the baby starting to roll over a little bit. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here since this was basically two days that I like crammed into one. And um, hopefully I'll be able to do some more vlogs um, throughout the next week now that things have sort of calmed down a little bit. and. Um, I've got a couple of videos planned for you guys that I just have to do some intros and like exits for. So yeah, we'll go from there. Um, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and click the little bell for notifications. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. And um, I think I I think I mentioned a couple different things to comment about throughout the video. So. If you guys think of anything, just let me know, and we'll chat. And I really appreciate you guys watching. I really appreciate your time. Thank you, thank you, and have a fabulous day. Bye.